Oh. Oh. Ah, maybe the Ethernet was what it was all about, huh? <laughs> when I typed pop, popped, I almost typed pooped. No, I just did. There it is. Oh, my. Oh, my. That <laughs> spiky hair mad genius. Let's not get into the hair thing. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Back to the, uh, back to the desktop, then. Thanks for letting me know, everybody. So, what was the last thing? What was the last thing you guys caught? Anybody? So we have pages. Uh, we have tabs. Actually, we are getting, aren't we? Yeah, we are definitely getting icons. Oh, look at that! It's been updating all along. I just wasn't even paying attention. Ooh, and we get uh, overflow. And I'm on Android, right? So I'm getting the Android overflow. So I guess if I save that again, let it refresh. Do, 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 do. And I guess that uh, alert that I just heard was probably the DM. Twasn't it? Um, cool, cool, cool. I won't reply to that right now. We busy. Okay, so we've got bottom tabs. We've got that. Um, I guess uh, something else that we could work on here real quick is some of the styling of those bottom tabs. So we essentially have an orange as the highlight and then what is it kind of a deep gray for the rest. So do this. Um, what do we have here? Shell, foreground color, white, background color is the navigation primary, tab bar. I'm just gonna go white. <laughs> and uh, the foreground color. What is it doing now? Is it doing that for the foreground color? So we would need to have that for the foreground and the unselected is the gray, right? So this would be, uh, I guess I could do, what do you guys like for that? Um, something like this. Going with a little bit of alpha trickery that I'm not actually very well versed at doing. <laughs> actually the gray turned out better than anything else. Um, what is that? Yeah, that's better. Um, so the foreground did not work out. Background is white, foreground is this. Is it the title? There we go. It's the title. Hey, my oranges aren't too bad. They're not too far off. Ooh, Xamarin Forms team in the house. Sharing some URI navigation biz, some details. My street lingo is horrible. These, these are the dad jokes, people. These are the things that make your kids super embarrassed. Um, so interestingly here with this uh, navigation, you can't actually see my finger on the screen, can you? That would be cool if you could. Um, so I don't have a um, bar at the top. Clearly down here, let's see, is that actually truly a bar? It looks like there is a horizontal rule at the top of that um, that bottom tab bar. And we don't seem to have the capability of having that here. I thought it just always had that. All right, we'll note that. Note the date and time. We'll have to talk about that. Cool, cool. So uh, pop that open again, check that stuff. It is gray. Cool. So the next thing to work on then, uh, let's get three tabs going at the top. So following you and clubs. So those all reside within home. 
So if we come back over here, let's get some of this other stuff out of the way. Um, home, which is called feed, right? Um, so within here, we need multiple shell content. So this one is, would be following. We already have one. We'll add another one. And come on, select the whole thing. I stink at text selection with a Windows machine. I know all my shortcuts on a Mac to like jump to different positions and whatnot. All right. So we've got following, we've got you, and we've got clubs, and there are no icons with these. Check in the chat. Yeah, if you do have a sample scenario of a navigation that you're trying to achieve, um, I can try to work that in here. And I'm assuming that that is Shane on the Xamarin Forms team. Um, okay. So you see that I now have uh, following you in clubs. And they are not spaced out the way I would want them to be. But uh, we're going to keep moving because to, in order to do uh, probably what is happening here with, uh, with this guy. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's not funny. Where'd you go? I just killed it by wiggling it. How dare I? How dare I wiggle it? Just a little bit. For crying out loud. If you have a scenario that you would like for me to try to do right here, I'm not scared. I may fail. And I'm also not scared of failing. All right. But reflector is just feels like dying all the time, doesn't it? But at least it's coming back to life pretty pretty uh consistently. Cool. What is, I wish I could get something when I hover over this green, green guy to tell me what that means. I don't know what it means. How did you get that popover to appear? Which popover? The, uh, on the more, this guy down here. That's just, Shell just does that. I don't have to do anything extra for that. And same thing on iOS, um, if this will ever update so that you can see. Oh, seriously? All right, well, you're not going to see it. Yep, on the more. Yep, you just get that for free. Shell does it for you. So uh, a couple of other styling things here we can take care of real quick. The um, background of those tabs at the top should be white. Now some uh, styling things I think are still outstanding. I had asked for some more styles to be made available. Yeah, Shell should make doing a lot of common things much faster and easier, but it's not necessarily going to provide everything. Uh, without still needing to go to some custom renders. And once we know what those situations are, then we can more easily go bake them into shell. Just, oh, just.com, yeah. Here, look at the screen. So you go to just just.github.com. Uh, if you're logged in with GitHub, it's already gonna pull up your stuff. I am not currently logged in on this browser, probably for the best. Because um, you can have private gists, secret gists, and you can have public gists. Um, but anyway, I wanted to go up to Xamarin Forms real quick and look at some of the styling stuff that's... Wow, that's a honking big font. 
shell styles. CSS. Okay, yeah, so there's part of it. Unable to set the status bar color, yeah. So this is specific to the flyout, but I had filed another one. Maybe it got addressed. Um, that is for um, styling things like specifically the top top bar stuff. So let's go see what we have right now. So if we come back up to our uh, styles. And of course, Oh, that's nice. We do actually get IntelliSense. I'm just so not used to having that because Mac doesn't have it. So I guess I clearly need to spend more time over here. Windows folks have it better. How do you feel about Xamarin competes with all the competitors like Flutter, React Native, and Ionic? Um, I don't think about it that way. Um, I think about in terms of what our customers need and what you're doing. Uh, what you as a developer are struggling with and what the opportunities are to improve our products for you and then acting on that. Um, when I see somebody saying, oh, I really like XYZ about Flutter or Ionic or any, any of those, or native for that matter, then the question that I'm asking is, well, what is that thing and is it something that we can more easily support inside of Xamarin? Um, not terribly, I mean, Sure, I would love everybody to be using Xamarin, but uh, more importantly, I want everybody to be productive. And uh, we are the mobile developer tools team. So interestingly, while we are heavily biased towards Xamarin, we love Xamarin, Xamarin's our product, um, we do actually support JavaScript frameworks as well inside of Visual Studio tools. Um, and that does include, to some degree, Visual Studio code. Um, and I have, I do use them all. I've often thought, uh, or not often, but I have been thinking, should I uh, stream some of that stuff as well? Uh, I don't know if that would be interesting or useful. Uh, certainly would at least let everybody know that uh, we do understand those development environments and frameworks, and we are not just uh, turning a blind eye to it, uh, so to speak. Because I know, I, you know, I used to be a freelancer, so um, and, and ran my own company, I know what it is to um, be out there peddling or selling or promoting or advocating for a particular framework, um, only to have the market go in a different direction and feel like you don't, um, you're not providing the best pitch anymore. And you want to make sure that when you are, maybe within a company even, right, you want to be able to make a strong pitch to your boss, to your company, that this is the technology stack to use. So I'm, I'm very aware of uh, those things as well. And it's definitely part of how we think about things. The thing that I honestly don't like about Xamarin is just XAML. <laughs> use C Sharp. You don't have to use XAML. Yeah. Talk to Ryan Davis down there in, in Australia. He'll, he'll tell you all the wonderful things that you can do with just C Sharp. The C Sharp crew. There you go. There it is right there. It's in the chat. You've made a friend. Check that out. Um, all right. So what are... No, you don't get the uh, partial syntax help, do you? So we have shell, foreground, background. Da, da, da. So I think I pretty much have them all represented here. So the question is, only one of them is currently still using the um, color uh, that we are trying to amend and get rid of, which is this guy. So that background at the navigation bar needs to be white. And as soon as we do that, now it's going to be white on white, which is no bueno. And then we go to the title color, and I guess it's probably, well, I could open my phone and reference my phone. Michael Stonus, yeah, they prefer uh, C Sharp. XAML is easier from a tooling standpoint for a lot of things. And uh, it is what the majority of the... Um, developer base prefers to use, but that it all has to be backed by C-sharp. You can't get away from it, so. <laughs> so there are some helpers out there from different people. Vincent, um, I don't remember how to say his last name, but um, he has a nice C-sharp helper class. As a matter of fact, here, I'll, I'll give, you a, give you a head start. Um, so if we go over to the collection view challenge, 
which we are currently running. Wow, I guess I don't have that up here because I'm not logged in. So we go to github.com and we go to Paul's. Is this it? I don't think this is it. I think this is somebody else, isn't it? No, it is Paul. Sweet. Um, and then we look at his collection view challenge. And then we look at pull requests. So people have been submitting their pull requests for these uh, challenges and Ryan's is right here. So if you go look at this pull request right here, uh, this is the UI that he created. Looks pretty darn good. And uh, you go look at the files and um, let's see, is it called helper? No, it's not. He's, he's also running a C-sharp instance of continuous so that he can do basically a hot reload of sorts um, using the continuous server from Frank Kruger. Um, so is it called extensions? Okay, yeah, so you've got markup extensions. So all of these Xamarin Forms markup extensions here give you the ability to much more easily create all of these UI elements in a uh, almost a fluent syntax. Um, and so then if you go look at the page that, um, that Ryan made, wow, everything is just so small on here. Not that one, feed category, whoops. Wow, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, scroll through the commits, look at his code. Oh, here we go, here's a preferences page. Um, he news up his fonts and things like that. He has a pretty common pattern for what he does. And then, you know, returns elements like that, has a get, yeah, anyway. There's a whole pattern to this um, that is pretty cool. I've used it before. Creating a grid's not horrible. Um, which is one of the more probably complex uh, XAML elements to, to create. So check it out. Um, before I joined Microsoft, um, I, once I got into XAML forms, I did do XAML uh, more and more. But uh, when I was doing iOS and Android stuff straight, uh, I was not using storyboards and nib files and AXML. I was doing code. XAML is similar to HTML Angular. Chase, I don't know why you put MVVM, though, in that conversation. I feel like MVVM is a whole different topic. I guess you're referring to the Angular aspect, maybe? Storyboards. You know, I've, I've been drawn into it, and, the, you know, I was lured to the dark side, as it were, once or twice. Um, anyway, uh, so the text here is like an off-white something or another. Or I'm sorry, off black, so. All right, we got a few things back. Um, I am going, well, I can't do that, can I? Hmm. Yeah, I think we really need to improve some things here. This is not, excuse me. I think we need quite a few more styling options here, Shane, still. Um, I don't know where they are, but they are definitely MIA. Uh, where are you at? I'm expecting this to update that other color. Shell background, shell foreground. Is it the foreground? Well, that's good. That gave me my uh, underscore thingy, my Bob. Yeah, that's good. I needed that. That goes to the original design. That was an accident. So that's going to be the FF3300, which is kind of a bright orange. Trying to keep your comments concise. You can comment as, as large as you want. Hey, is the video still working for everybody? It's spinning over here. Tell me if, uh, if everything's buffering for you again. I don't think it's me. That's, that says I've dropped zero frames, barely using any CPU, and I'm all green. All right, it's working. Cool, cool. <laughs> so the text of those other guys, what's going on? Well, I've only got the, this one's white, but I made that one white on purpose. On purposes. Cool, cool, cool. Video be working. So what else is left? Well, that has to be white. It's got to be this, right? Unselected? Oh, I didn't change this one. 
There we go. That's more like it. More like it. All caps. It's not really what I want, but we'll go with it. Oh, and it's using browse for that because, 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 because. Um, if we go to, what is this, the feed? No, dang it. Where's my solution explorer? I can't use my solution explorer. Uh, we don't want browse at the top, we want feed, but we don't even really want that. Okay, go back. So I want it to be centered, and you all know how to center things. Mm, I'll leave that. Title view, right? So we have shell.title view. Um, and I believe I can put just anything I want in here. Oh, feed. Yep, that's right. So then the question is, well, I'll give it a little bit more of a, a, a bigger mo, mo bigger font. Make this font bigly. Yeah. Even more. All right. Um, text color. Let's go dark. And then, uh, nope. Vertical options, center it. Horizontal options, center it. And it's probably going to be, I didn't go anywhere, did it? You didn't go anywhere. Can I put it within a layout? All right. What are you? You're there. That's... Good. Um, vertical text center. Nope. So this is not taking up the space, is it? Question, how shell renders on platform side? Is it using the default tool? Yeah, so it is. Uh, it's still using the default native controls. Stack layout needs a center. Vertical, I assume. It is using the native renders, so nothing has really changed uh, from that standpoint. The renders have been redone. They didn't work out, Chase. Um, I know, right? Yeah, so I would like to propose, and I have been kind of chatting this up a little bit, that, um, let's take a break. Uh, I've been chatting this up for a little bit that we, uh, instead of always relying, center and expand. I'll try that. Um, are you always about the cat? Like every comment you make has the cat at the end of it. Let me look back. Is there anything that doesn't have the cat? It's just part of your your brand. Um, so my proposal is basically this, that uh, we could int introduce a new set of controls that break from the platform. It's your spear emoji, nice. Um, so we have navigation bar, but let's introduce a forms navigation bar. And in that case, the forms navigation bar re-implements the behaviors that you expect from the navigation bar, but it's clear that it's not using the native control. And that's your choice if you choose to do that. Because um, I have found in my experience, and I think that uh, you may be able to tell me if I'm right or wrong from your experience, that when you do need to do a certain level of customization for navigation bars and tab bars and things like that, it's often just easier to abandon and hide the native piece and do it uh, do it yourself in forms. Well, so with Shell, you can intercept the back. That That is something that Shell does support. Don't don't tell me don't tell me the audio is blipping. It's your it's your Canadian internet provider. Although Chase is in Canada as well. All right. So center and expand on what? 
on this. Oh, I need to go back to the desktop. Never, never know. Never know when to use the center and expand. Oh, that's the vertical text alignment. It's not that. Not vertical. Vertical. Not. Oh, for crying out loud. Intellicode fail. Vertical options. Center and expand. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Now it worked on the label. Packets aren't making it across the border. You know, we've, uh, well, let's not, let's not get into politics. Because <laughs> first of all, I'm not intelligent enough to make good comments about it. All right, so a couple other things in the navigation bar area. We have some, uh, we have a left button and we have a, two buttons to the right. So we have a toolbar button here. And I'm curious why we don't see it. Very curious. So these should be showing up to the right, yeah, um, with icons. But uh, one is essentially friends, and the other one is alerts. Well, <laughs> it's putting something up there and then shoving everything over. <sighs> we have got to make the title view independent from the rest of those stinking things. Uh, now you guys are just doing doing politics. I can't I can't weigh in on that. I do use the MS News app. I think I reproduced several screens of it. I know I did for the visual challenge. Uh, all right. Shane, Samantha, anybody from the team watching? That's frustrating. Super frustrating. Um, so the other thing that we can do here is we can do shell that back button behavior. And then we can add a back button behavior. Hmm. Does it only take it? I think I always end up doing this in code is the thing. So let's go back to the items page. Or not back to. Let's go. What is it? F7 to get to the code behind? One of the uh, shortcuts. You always just hide it and use custom XAML. Yeah. Because you always end up fighting it, and then you're like, why did I even bother? Right? Forms are supposed to save me all this time. And I just spent all that time I saved in the 20% of my project instead of, <laughs> hey, told you. Ran my own company. I did this stuff for a living. I know exactly what the complaints are from that standpoint anyway. But I'm always learning. Uh, the complaints are always changing. Um, do, 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 do. So here, oh, because I'm running. So this is a downside of the live XAML. I cannot do this. So shell that back button behavior. Set back button behavior. Um, we're gonna do this and we're gonna give it a new back button behavior. Right. No suggestions. Text override. Don't really want a text override. I want an icon over, but let's just get something showing. Um, what is this, the add new? All right, we have something. Rerun that. Text color is white. That's why it's not displaying the toolbar. And, well, yeah, I mean, it definitely is, no doubt. But, like, <laughs> I don't know what to do about it because, um, I mean, I guess, is it a different a different style setting outside of Shell? Because everything else up to this point has been a style setting inside of Shell. So, well, look at that. My ad, my ad's orange. My back button's orange. What up? fact that we can control our own title view nowadays is great. It is definitely an improvement, but oh hey, what happened to your spirit emoji? 
be consistent with your brand. Um, all right, so how do we change the color? How would you, before Shell, change the color of a toolbar item? Xamarin Forms Toolbar Item Color. Probably down in the platform somewhere. Change the color. Docs. No, that's API docs. Beware, API docs. I always wonder when people say that uh, docs are horrible if they don't happen to land in the API docs as opposed to um, your normal docs. Toolbar background color. All right, let's go to the uh, thing here. Only with custom rendering. Are you referring to the color issue that I'm looking at right now? Or are we talking about something else? You got to come down into here and do this. Ugh. Gross. Don't make me do that. Don't make me do that. Really? That shouldn't be. Is it because it's using those native controls and we just can't style it very easily? Huh. Uh, fair point. Okay, so so I can change it from the Android theme. So isn't that essentially what this is saying here? Within the action bar stuff. So if I come back down, I'm going to have to stop it anyway. Come down into the Android project where I don't want to be. Styles. What are my styles and colors? Okay, those are just random colors. Not random, but they're just colors. Styles. Mm hmm. Will you will you allow me? Because I'm not I'm using dark action bar. Yeah. Thought that might happen. Wait, why did you just undock? That was not my intention. Alright, build failed, but it doesn't tell me why it failed. Why you know tell me why you failed? Um, because it's not supported in my theme. Nope, that's not the right command. All right. It's not going to work. Not going to work. Phone the Google and get them to fix it. Uh, what to do if we want to change the theme from light? You want to go from light to dark? Are you talking about the Android theme or just themes in general? So the Android theme, you would need to come down into here and change this. Change all, change all this. You got to get down inside of your Android resources and do it here. Um, but we are going to be showing in the Zappy app, we are going to show how to theme your app using styles. Um, and essentially reskin it using just the CSS. Or not just CSS, sorry, CSS and styles. 
Does anybody have the uh, code to change this here for a uh, for dark? Oops. So when I'm using this theme. Make sure I didn't totally break my build. Would be nice if forms could override every single thing and leave Android as default. Yes. Do not disagree. All right, while that's doing its thing, so clearly this is not the right theme stuff for me. Uh, it wants me to do all this. Oh, oh, hey, look. Can you see this? Gerald, are you still listening? Are you still there? I'm actually on one of your stack overflows, my friend. Some of the Android stuff needs to be changed since the iOS looks like those files. Yeah. Icon resources, for example. Action menu. Oh, so it's saying this is, it's as simple as this. Guillermo, from back in uh, March of 18. <laughs> Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Um, do I actually have a orange color? I guess it's a, um, Built-in color. Built failed. Why am I not getting uh, error messages? Come on. So what do I get for running hot bits? Spaces in the XML, you think? It's not forgiving. And it looks like my quotes are really quotes. So you think uh, you think I'm actually here to teach you something? You're actually here to help me. <laughs> it's my plan. Have I defined it? Yeah. So I, I haven't. So let's just grab something else. I mean, I thought, I thought that it was like a. This is betraying how long it's been since I spent time in the uh, native bits in the native world. So how about this instead? Should be good. Oh, I need a pound. Stop. Stop. Although I get the feeling that anything I type here, it's going to be mad at me about it. No, I hadn't failed yet. Hash it. Build failed. This is not, this is not going to, it's just not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. Thank you, coolest sharp dev. We'll get that. We'll get that looked at. It's just not gonna happen. What if I did? Uh, well, I guess it's not there. You know, this is the the hacking part, right? Is it? Is it actually this? No, it's not that. <laughs> Makes your comments redundant. No, I think it's it's not that delayed. It doesn't seem too bad. Well, hopefully we're all learning from each other here, right? All right. Hang on a sec. This is annoying. Good night, Nathaniel. Thanks for joining and hanging out. <laughs> now do you need to wake up for work? <laughs> Enjoy. Come on back. I think the more we do these things, uh, the more it'll go more smoothly. We'll get the, everything set up and debugged, as it were. 
stop introducing new hardware and uh, things into the mix. So I appreciate everybody hanging with us. So uh, I was just chatting Shane or anybody. Uh, he may be gone or in a meeting or something. Because I really would like to get these colors going, but that just doesn't, doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I guess I can ask Peppers. I wonder if Peppers is around. This is part of what I do. It's like you have to pick your battles. How, who do I want to nag? Who do I want to pester? Are they going to be mad at me? It's not. It's, there's. There is no fail message, which is part of the part of my problem, and I think it's because I'm uh, running the build that I'm running. All right, we'll see if we get a reply there. Any other questions about shell and navigation and things like that? Um, in terms of like navigation in the app, let's see, are there other, because th those are really the main navigation pieces, really, is the top tabs, the bottom tabs, the overflow. Let's see if I go into uh, some of these other pages. I mean, we are doing some push navigations. I can show doing a push navigation real quick. Um, let's do that. And if I get a reply on the uh, styling stuff, then I can go fix that. So I think actually this might in part already work. What's up, asterisk, asterisk. I feel like I have to emphasize the isix. Uh, let's see here. I was trying to uh, style the, the toolbar items on Android. And it's not working out for me. These. So in the upper right-hand corner, when this page reloads, there are two toolbar items up there with text and everything. Uh, they are text. And I cannot get them to show up. They're just white. I'm sure if I click on them, they'll do something. Yeah, see? They're there. <laughs> James might know. I think he's busy. Oh, Jonathan Peppers is typing. Oh, that's interesting. Bug. What just happened? This is the other fun thing. Why do I have feed, feed, feed? Feed, feed, feed. Shell, Shell, what are you doing? Oh, Shell. Yeah. Crazy. Don't know why that's happening. All right. No problem. So uh, we're going to do uh, push navigation. So let's see here. I've already got that going on. Uh, so on item selected. So we'll just go ahead and do it right here. Um, this probably already still works. Let me push one. Yep. See the so uh, push navigation. You can use the old stuff. So I did not update this at all, and this is using uh, Xamarin Forms, uh, just base navigation stuff. Right? No, no big deal. <laughs> so. Um, we can use this, but let's look at how we would do it otherwise uh, using shell. So what I like to do, let's see, we're going to the item detail page and we are passing it, um, we're passing it the item. So we can do this from anywhere, and this is a nice thing about uh, shell, 
is that um, you can access the navigation from anywhere. You don't have to worry about hosting inside of a different navigation page or anything like that. Um, is there a reason you're not using the URI navigation? Uh, just because it's the, the sample that was already there, uh, in part to show you that it already exists. So um, shell.current gets me the current instance of shell. And then I have access to navigation right here. And I can do exactly the same thing. So this is a way to do the traditional push navigation. And of course, I can await that. Um, however, let's do it with a URI. So uh, first thing is I need a route to get to this page because this page is not referenced inside of my app shell.xaml. No, nah, no worries. I am more than happy to answer the same question several times. I know that uh, kind of the culture that I see with Twitch streams is most of you are doing your regular jobs, your day jobs, or multitasking with dinner or breakfast, or hopefully nobody's in the bathtub watching right now. That would be awkward for you, maybe. Um, so uh, totally fine. Ask questions. Ask them twice. Ask them three times. And if I miss a question and uh, you want to uh, nudge me on it, I'm more than happy to revisit. Okay, so what am I doing? Okay, so I don't have uh, that item details page in here, so I need to get a reference to it. I need to, to register a route. So I'm going to go do, 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 back up here, and I'm going to open up the uh, code behind for the app shell. Uh, this makes sense to me to put it here. Um, maybe even make it more clear what I'm doing, register routes, and then go create that, right? Thank you very much. And then I can come in here and I can say um, routing.registerRoute, uh, give it a name. So I'll call it, uh, I'll just call it detail. And then it wants to know what I'm going to be sending. So it's a type of item detail page, right? Do the import, or using. It's not called an import here, is it? Um, okay, so now I have a detail route, and I can use it in my URI. You've done all the route registering in the view model. Is it good or bad? Uh, it shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter. But if it hasn't been working, then toss it down here. But then again, I mean, definitely make sure you tried pre-9, because pre-8, this totally didn't work. Totally didn't work. All right, so I've got a page, um, and then I can come over here to back in here to my items page, right? And I am going to now await shell current uh, go to async. So go to async is where we start accessing all the uh, URI methods, and I'm gonna I just called it detail singular, didn't I? Didn't call it singular. Uh, you might want to make, um, I guess, enum struct, something like that to help out. And then doo -doo -doo, go to async detail. Um, where are we at here? Um, and then it's going to animate by default. So I could just leave it as this, right? I believe if I do this, then it clears the back stack. If we look at that pull request that Shane mentioned earlier, or somebody mentioned earlier and pointed everybody at this pull request, scrolling up in the chat, pooped, URI navigation issue 5790. 5790. Um, let's go back here. Five seven nine zero. Nope. Issues plural. Never remember that properly. So here's the spec. Okay. So if we do this, which is what I was just doing, it's a relative route. Um, it's going to go from the current position and then go up the hierarchy until a route is found. If we do a single slash, it'll search at the root level. 
and then go down to find it. If we do a, uh, do a whack whack, I guess not a whack whack, it's slash slash. Um, search relative to the current position, then go to the hierarchy until a route is found. Page will replace the stack. So this is the key thing about doing two of these is it resets the stack. Yeah, so I'm, okay, so I'm going to do the no slash. I just want to push this. Um, so let's go back over here. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Now, the other thing that I could do, um, and which I think I want to do is this. So I need to make this a, whatever you call this. What do you call these? The dollar sign stringy thingies. <laughs> I have an English degree. I don't know what, I don't know what this stuff means. Um, so then I have an item. And I will pass, I'm not going to pass the whole thing, I'm just going to pass the ID, which is a string, sweet. So then I'm going to go to my item details page, and I'm going to uh, properly map that using a query param thingy. So item detail page is where I'm going. It expects to receive the item right here, which I'm not gonna do. Um, but I am gonna do this. Is it there or here? Query property. So uh, the name of the property, I'll just give it that. And then what's on my URL query string is this. Pretty sure it goes there and not on the namespace. It wouldn't make sense in the namespace, would it? Um, and then I need a public getter setter so that I can get it. Public string ID, right? We have a get. Oh, can I just do this? Let's just, let's get some help. I know there's probably like, um, what do you call those things? Uh, snippets for this kind of stuff. No, not that, that. The refactor, where's the refactor? Whoa, whoa, hello, what are you doing? Stop. I hit too many too many keys at once. Where's just the refactor thing? All right, so if I hit uh, control dot, encapsulate, and use property, yeah, that's fine. Lost the stream. I was talking trash about about Canadian hockey teams because the Blues actually we're playing Dallas in the next round, so I guess you don't really have. But we beat Winnipeg. Beat Winnipeg. That was an awesome series. Oh my gosh, edge of my seat. Not gonna lie. Uh, nope, don't do that. Stop doing that. Keep using the wrong uh, keystrokes. Dun, 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 dun. What? Wow, no, don't do that. Use auto property. No, I don't really want that either. I want, okay, whatever. Why you gotta be like that? Where's the flavor of the one I want? It doesn't want to give me the flavor of the one I want. Probably because I need to come in here. We're, we're learning some IntelliSense stuff. Whatever. All right. Um, so what I do need to have happen. So what's going to happen here is uh, because that query string is coming in, then Shell is going to read it off of the uh, navigation URI and it will assign it to this ID. So when it does that right here, I want to make sure that I do the extra work necessary to set up that view model. So coming down here, it wants all this jazz, which we don't have the item yet. So I'm just gonna move it up here. This will work, right? Um, and actually, I kind of need to do this differently. Go ahead and do this. Can I do, can I do that? I can. It's happening. Oh, okay, so it takes null. Good, good, good. 
Um, but I can do a uh, something like this. I don't know. Um, oh, actually, changing my mind. Changing my mind. I can do it. I can do this. If I don't want to do it here in the page, I can do it on the view model because it's already set as the binding context right there. So let's let's not be passing things around like mad people. Let's let's do it properly. Whoops, not there. There. What? Xamarin Forms. There you go. All right, and then I need to bring that property up here. Hideous. That formatting is hideous, isn't it? Is it making your code skin crawl? Mm-hmm. Put it down here. Do you like to put your public properties at the top and your private stuff down below? Or do you like to put your private properties up above and put your public stuff down below? Or do you do something completely different? I would love to know. But that Mountain Dew is making me squirrely. Squirrel. All right. So we've got this here. Uh, da -da 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 public get set. Yeah, that was confusing me. So what's going to happen here? No, we're not even going to get that. Are we? we don't really have a data store. Well, this isn't really going to work. But just to show, just to show that we got something coming through here. Um, what if we? What if we just set the title to the ID, just to show, you know, show progress to the id. We're going to put the id in the title ID. The title. All right, so uh, rewind back here. Uh, we're now using the URI. We're using a query string to pass the ID, and then uh, we're going to grab it in the view model. What could go wrong? Navigation parameter dictionary, not yet. Don't think so. You hold your breath. <laughs> oh, come on. Have some confidence. This will totally work. I've done this several times before. It's, it's definitely working. You would have pointed out to me if I had made a mistake, right? So I would probably need to refactor the sample a bit more because it expects to be able to pass the entire item. All right, so look at all this beautiful UI. Go to the third item. Uh, whoop, yep, put it in the title, didn't it? Yep, that's the GUID up there at the top. And then I can go back. So it did a push navigation based off the URI. Is there a perf hit with the attribute reflection? Not that we've seen. I don't, I don't think that it's using reflection, though. Is it using reflection? <laughs> oh, Dan, you're so funny. Things are getting faster and faster, my friend. All right, uh, we've got just a few minutes left. I can hear the family amassing in the other room to uh, get some chow, get the evening festivities going. Has to set the property somehow. Yeah, so if we look at, um, we can go look at it. Oh, I do have... Do you have this right here, don't I? So if we go look, um, what is it, a shell set attribute? Uh, are we calling it query attribute? Nope, query property. Code. So these are samples though, I don't think that's really one. Oh, shell base, nope. Search handler, shell search handler, shell page trender tracker. Not exactly what I was looking for. Um, Shane, where is this stuff? The uh, Where we set the uh, query attributes. I've been in there and I've looked at it before because I remember <laughs> I had it in my head. I could figure it out. Oh, and it, it would always break in the same place too.
want to say it's like actually in the in the root shell. Apply query attributes. And then if we go look at where that is. Right here. Routing, get route. Yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing reflection here. Are you seeing reflection, anybody? There may be reflection happening at some place near, but, I'm, but I don't think so. Yeah, it does it at each layer, but it's not it's not reflection, right, Shane? XFT. Hey, XFT. That's what I'm going to start calling the Xamarin Forms team handle because I don't technically know exactly who it is, but I'm pretty sure it's Shane. <sighs> Could be somebody else hiding out. Any other questions? I mean, I know I didn't uh, get as as close as I wanted to. I personally, I'm not satisfied at all um, with the navigation of the top. Uh, definitely the toolbar items is something that I will need to... Uh, Get a spec up for uh, the offset of the title view still annoys the snot out of me. Um, being able to customize the top tabs, I think at this point would absolutely require custom renderer work um, down inside the shell uh, shell section render, I would imagine. Um, and then there is no top line on the bottom tab bar which I absolutely need to match this design. Although I am comparing an Android design to an iOS design, last I recall, the Android was not too far off. <laughs> they should announce themselves. Yeah, log in with your own handle. Be yourself. Fwaterbees does it. Fwaterby. Hey, uh, so... I think with that, I am pretty much done. It looks like Clancy is about to finish his font PR. So we had fun. Uh, who did we raid? Did we raid Clancy last time? Let's go raid Clancy. I think I have a raid button. That was told I had a raid button. Not for uh, gift. No. Where's the raid button? So let's go watch Clancy do that. I'm really excited for that PR. It would help if I knew where the quote unquote raid button was. But I think I can just type raid Clancy. All right, so let's go check out. Uh, thanks for everybody for hanging. Sorry it was a little glitchy at the beginning there, but we're getting we're getting the handle hang of it. So we're gonna raid Clancy. Here we go. It's on the way, and the dog is freaking out. See you, everybody.